Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today it is time to take care of our level 50 botanist quest to finish off the botany quest line for A Realm Reborn. Hello there Fafucha! Fafucha of the botanist guild has reached the most difficult decision. Forgive me if I seemed a bit distant the last time we spoke, Satora. Allow me to get straight to the point. I have not come to this decision easily, but I have come to it all the same. As of today, I have resigned from the botanist guild. Fafucha, what? No! Our battle with the Ixal rages on and there are rumblings from the Empire as well. With each passing day, more people die, the soil is stained deeper with blood and the Dwellswood weeps. Meanwhile, I fill orders for the war effort, and for what purpose? That more Ixal may suffer and die than Gridanians? No, if this is what it means to be a botanist in this day and age, I want no more part of it. Like, I, I understand Fafucha, but like, ah, that's not on you at all! And you're working to like, make sure the forest is protected! Even as all this war is going on. <sighs> Yanni, may Nafika bless her dear heart, tried her best to convince me not uh convince me to stay. Still, I fear my heart is as settled. Mind you, this decision is mine alone. I would pass no judgment on those who find meaning in their efforts here. Should you wish to continue to serve the guild, I'm sure Yanni will have suitable tasks for you. Farewell, Satora, and may the Twelves would ever shelter you. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Uh, let's let's go see Yanni. I guess you're the new acting guild master for now. What are we gonna do? Oh, Satora, I'm glad I'm so glad you're here. You spoke to Fafucha, yes? It absolutely breaks my heart to see what's become of my old friend. Fafucha and I have known each other since we were both knee high to a fungwar, and I assure you, her knowledge of and passion for the floor of this realm is second to none. This guild would absolutely be lost without her guidance. Of course, I understand her worries. These are not easy times for a true seeker of peace and friend to nature. And yet, I cannot help but feel that her emotions cloud her better judgment. That she has not seen the forest for the trees, if you will. Fafucha has convinced herself that she is doing more harm than good to the natural world she so loves. Preposterous! Has she forgotten the countless trees she planted after the Calamity? Journeying far and wide to return lush verdure to our shattered realm. Someone must remind her of all she has accomplished and the work that is still left to be done. To that end, I have made contact with one of Fafucha's former apprentices, a botanist by the name of Reuteloin, who now tends to a forest that Fafucha herself led the planting of many years ago. My words as a friend will not reach Fafucha now. Only a fellow botanist who understands the depths of her worries can heal the wounds in her heart. I beg of you, Satora, speak with this Reuteloin and seek his counsel. Reuteloin sends to the forest surrounding the Timber uh, Timberlord's Lodge in the central highlands of Kirthus. Please, go quickly. Once Fafucha leaves our guild behind, I fear that she shall never return. Okay, let's go see if we can uh, find this Reuteloin and find a way to convince her of all the good she has done and can still do. Off to Kirthus. All right, the the Timber uh, Timberlord's Lodge, where Reuteloin is hanging out, can be found to the north of the observatorium here in Kirthus. We're going to stay west off the path because we're going to be heading right up this way. Top of this hill, and Reuteloin's going to be right there. Hello! Well met, Satora. Yanni told me to expect you. I am Reuteloin, a humble botanist playing his trade in these bleak lands. Botany is not, sim is not simply my livelihood, I consider it my true calling. A calling I would never would have discovered were it not for Fafucha's guidance. Needless to say, I was devastated to hear the news. All hope is not lost, however, as I have hit upon an idea. Tell me, Satora, are you familiar with the spruce tree? I do not blame you if you are not, as it is a rare sight these days. As Fafucha would tell it, the, in the years before the Calamity, the vast forest of spruce would stretch for malms and malms. What spruce trees you see today are the results of Fafucha's efforts to bring the Flora of Ages past back to Eorzea. Perhaps seeing that her work has borne fruit will convince her not to abandon her life as a botanist. Knowing Fafucha as I do, the gesture would mean the most to her if the spruce were harvested by the hand of an apprentice, apprentice close to her heart. Your hand, Satora. Before you set off, be forewarned. Spruce is still rare to these parts and not easily discerned. Only one with knowledge of the truth of forest could hope to identify such trees, and then only after straining the eyes from the break of dawn. If your eyes are true, friend, you will come upon mature trees unlike any you have seen before. Harvest from them three spruce logs and bring them back to me. Alright, we need to, at 9am, use the truth of forest to find unspoiled mature trees. 
which unfortunately means right now we are going to have to wait for quite a bit possibly quite a bit hang on there is a, an unspoiled mature tree up to the northeast right it's not actually going to appear on the map okay perhaps all hope is not lost that's not spruce uh yeah it's fine we're going to abandon the note it's fine all right then i guess i'm just going to be waiting until oh god 9 a.m in game that's gonna be a bit i'll see everyone when we get to the proper time and this is how the post game gathering's gonna go uh unfortunately yeah the uh Specific nodes we need to harvest from are typically only going to appear at very specific times of day. Unspoiled nodes are very, very precise in how you have to get them. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, we are back nearly 70 minutes later. It was a bit of a wait. Uh, so the day night cycle is 70 minutes, so you know, it took a while before uh, we came around to 9am. So let's go over how exactly these unspoiled nodes work. Unspoiled nodes are going to be the post-game gathering locations for our Realm Reborn. And as we go into further expansions, I believe unspoiled nodes are going to become more and more present in like base game gathering as well. But for now, they're primarily post-game gathering. And the way they are going to work is there's a few of them spread throughout the world uh, that only appear at very specific times of day. If you are in the right area, at the right time of day, and you have Truth of Forest enabled, then the unspoiled nodes will appear and you are able to actually collect them. Uh, we're going to actually be collecting quite a few of these spruce logs while we are here. Oh, that was not the right button. Oh well. Uh, crap. But yeah, unspoiled notes, you can only gather from them once per time period that they spawn, and then they unspawn until the next time period. So once we're done gathering from the, the spruce logs from this tree, as soon as we hit the next hit, this tree is going to be gone until 9 a.m. the next day in Eorzean time. Um, you are typically going to have a higher yield at these areas, at these unspoiled nodes. They're typically going to give you yields of like three as your base because they can only appear once per Aorzean day, sometimes twice, depending on exactly what node it is. But it is definitely very, very worthwhile to get as many from them as you can whenever they spawn. Like, make very careful and specific use of your gathering points to maximize your yield. Just because... Once you're done, you have to wait 70 minutes for the next one to spawn. Thankfully, they do stick around for a little bit. I want to say like three Aorzean hours. So that'd be about six, seven minutes real time. Yeah, they do stick around for a little bit, but you, you do got to be on the ball. You got to know where they are and when they're going to show up. And you got to have your truth of force ready to uh, tell you exactly where they're at. We're going to be needing a lot of those unspoiled nodes in their loot for the post-game crafting. I'm not going to mark off on my list that I've gathered the spruce logs yet, because I'll, I'll do that when we do the post-game crafting. Um, but we're going to need quite a few of those, and I'll go over exactly how many we're going to need as, as we come to it. As we get to the post-game crafting. For now, we went ahead and got ourselves three spruce logs so we can hand them over. Um, I did say that the unspoiled nodes, their only real conditions are time of day and you're using Truth of Forest. There's an equivalent ability for Miner that's not called Truth of Forest. I think it's Truth of Mountains would make sense. Uh, I want to say that there is a very good possibility that in later expansions they'll start adding additional requirements for them to spawn, but I can't guarantee that. I have not, I'm, I'm only in like early game heaven's word gathering on my main account so i don't know i just it's just something that they could certainly do and i wouldn't put it put it past them hello rotoline should you have difficulty locating the spruce trees remember only one with knowledge of uh, knowledge of the truth of forest can see them and only after waiting from dawn till sundown if your eyes are true friend you will come upon mature trees unlike any you have seen before did you follow all that satora 
Very well. Gather three spruce logs and bring them back here to me. Don't worry, I got your spruce logs. I got plenty of spruce logs. Remarkable gathering, Satora. I see that Fafucha has trained you well. I had a mind to deliver them to Fafucha straight away, but I just received some troubling news. You have heard that we here in Kurthus are locked in war with dragons, have you not? A recent dragon raid has left many soldiers and settlers without shelter. A carpenter in the area is doing all he can to construct new lodgings, but lumber is in painfully short supply. I share your concern for Fafucha, but I am sure you agree that our first priority as botanists is to help those in need. Why, Fafucha herself taught me as much. Please, Satora, seek out the carpenter and deliver to him some spruce logs, that the people of Kurthus need suffer without a roof over their heads for no longer. Yeah, that is a bit higher priority. And who knows? Maybe we can drag Fafucha out here to show her, one, her spruce trees are growing. If a little bit rare, they are still, they are still growing and recovering from the calamity. And two, they're being put to good use to help people. They're not just restoring nature, they're restoring people as well. Hopefully that'll give her some inspiration that she so desperately needs. All right, looks like the carpenter is going to be down here towards the river. Where are you? Is that you? That is you. Hello. I bring you some spruce. Yes, on the off chance that you're either blind or stupid, I'm a busy man. Wow, you're a very polite fellow. Busy doing what, you say? Searching for lumber, that's what. We've no end of houses that need rebuilt after being smashed to bits by those damn dragons. Or haven't you noticed that there's a war going on here? I would ask you, sir, not to assume what I am doing here or what I have and have not noticed. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I have no time for chit-chat. Take a look around. These ain't hospitable lands. Without shelter, people will die. Damn it all, is there not a single sturdy log left in all the highlands? Wait, this is... I've never seen wood like this. Where in the name of the Twelve did you find this? To think that lumber of this quality could be found in these lands. Why, I'll not forget this kindness, friend. Those trees will save lives. Those trees will save lives? You bet they will, little missy. Uh, speaking of which, whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? Wow, you sure changed your... T I mean, to be fair, he got logs. He got lumber that he very desperately needed. He's gonna have a lot less stress, but still, like, oh my god, sir, you sure sure changed your tune. My name matters not. I am just a humble botanist and nothing more. I would bid you speak to my colleague Rotuloin at t the Timberlord's Lodge. He will see that you never want for lumber. I don't know who you are, miss, but I'm glad we met. The gods are truly watching over us today. Shall we go for a walk, Satora? Sure. It's good to see you, by the way. When Yanni suggested I travel to Kurthus, I had not the slightest idea what she had in mind. The moment I laid eyes on this forest, I remembered. This was your intent, was it not, Satora? You, Yanni, and Roy Talloin. Your gentle concern for my faltering heart is not lost on me. Nor is the meaning of this forest. The trees themselves speak volumes. The seeds, the art of botany, the love and reverence for nature that we brought to Ishgard have taken root in the lands and in the hearts of people and grown strong, strong indeed. As strong as the majestic spruces that once more grace these snow-swept highlands. The spruces will now, uh, that will now provide shelter and comfort to those who have been ravaged by war. Like the Twelveswood, this forest has suffered greatly in these times of strife, and yet this forest has strength. A strength, that it, a strength that is harbored since time immemorial, and one it shares with us. A strength that goes beyond logs we harvest or the herbs we gather. I must never forget the lessons I have learned here today. On the contrary, I must share what I have discovered here, that hope might ta uh, take root again in the hearts of our countrymen. Let us return to Gridania, Satora. The Twelvewood is calling us home.
Why did that get me crying? I'm like actually crying a little bit right now. Un un blah, blah. Fafucha, I'm so glad you're feeling better. I'm so glad you're feeling better. I am a bit of a nature hippie. It's, it's true. All right, Fafucha, glad to see you back at the guild. Did you, uh, do you hear Satoru? The leaves whisper to us, wel welcoming us home. To think that I almost turned my back on them forever. The battle rages on and the forest will go, will not go unscathed. Gridanian and Ixel hack away at innocent branches and uproot flowers and shrubs for their own self-seeking causes. The sadness, the powerlessness is at times too great to bear. And yet, if I were to walk away, who would tend to the wounded forest in my stead? There's only so much that a lone botanist can accomplish. And yet, every seed that is planted, every tree that takes root brings us one step closer to a future where we live in harmony with the forest. In my pain and frustration, my eyes had been blinded to this truth. Thanks to you, Yanni, and Reuteloin, I see again. Rest easy, Satora. I will remain here at the growery. How could I not? The forest needs every friend it can muster in these dark times, and it would seem I, have st I still have much to learn. I would be honored to continue to walk the path of the botanist with you. Not as guildmaster and apprentice, but as peers, fellow shepherds of the forest. Be you ever safe in your travels. Alright. We get our relic tool for botany. Again, as I said with fishing, we'll go into more what relic tools are when we get to the post game. Uh, but they're effectively upgradable gear. Uh, there's many, many relic tools and weapons that we're going to be getting to. Ah, we are going to be getting to them in time. I'm going to go ahead and skip all the gear. It's technically a downgrade, into, at least judging from that defense. If you look at item comparisons, it is marginally better, but I think we can actually get a higher quality version of this later. So I'm going to hold off and may, uh, and do that later. We'll, we'll have better versions of this gear in time. And that concludes the botanist quest for A Realm Reborn. To undertake the next series of quests, we must complete the main scenario quest before the dawn, which is the final story quest before Heaven's Word. We need to reach Heaven's Word before we can continue. Once you have done so, the next botanist quest will be available from Fafucha. All right then. And we hit botanist level 53, appropriate. Now with that, I believe that's gonna be good for today. There's no more botany logs that I want to do at the moment. We've already covered everything except for the post-game gathering. And as I keep saying, I'm going to save that for the post-game. So next time on Final Fantasy XIV, uh, I believe it's time for our level 50 mining quest. <laughs>